What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Charting Crypto. Taylor River Penguin PNG, our daily update, up 40.1% today at 65 cents. This thing's absolutely ripping. It's going parabolic. It's insane. $133 million market cap now on this coin. All time high was three years ago at 1885. I think we're easily going to smash through that this upcoming bull run. All time low was four months ago. If you would have bought four months ago at 1.1 cent, You'd be up 53x on your investment. Absolutely insane. Currently available on the following markets. Gate.io, Pangolin. I don't know what that one is. Mexi and CoinX and obviously Pangolin. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on PNG. All right, everyone, we're looking at PNG here on the Max C chart, and we really only have one more resistance area to overtake on the Max C chart, and then it's just to infinity and beyond. I mean, look at this God candle right here. If you go to the three day, if you go to the, yeah, if you go to the three day, it's like straight up. It's just one solid or like a couple solid candles just straight up. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But let's get back to the short term or the day chart and see what's going on here. So day chart right now, what we're looking at at the indicators here is another very, very large engulfing candle on the MACD. No sign of slowing down. Usually once you start topping out or getting close to topping out, you have very, very small engulfing candle, a candle that only engulfs the prior one by just a little bit. And that's not happening here. We're having larger and larger engulfing candles every single day, which is showing that the momentum is not slowing down even though we're overbought right now because the rsi is overbought right now at around 95 the highest we have ever been on the rsi and it's still going straight vertical guys insane this is the big one here the wtx hasn't printed a sell signal yet and look how high we are we're up to at 80 right now and we have not printed a sell signal yet so i'll be keeping an eye to see when that day sell signal comes in and then i'd be taking a little bit of weight on that and see hey um, could it be a, a time to take some profit or not once the sell signal comes in? Because we've gone over every time the sell signal has came in on the day chart, it's been accurate. For example, the 15th of December, we had a sell signal here. We had the retracement. Here we had November 18th was this top. We saw the retracement. Prior to that, we had a top right here, which was a very, very lengthy, boring, slow retracement. All, prior to that, we had October 22nd right here. We had a small pullback. And then the first one came August of 2022 on the day chart, which we had this pullback here. So every single sell signal has been accurate so far, but you don't want to just rely on one indicator. Uh, you want to tie that in with some other one. So that is the WTX right there, if you guys are interested in it. Uh, I'm going to be looking to see when a sell signal prints there on the day chart. But now look at the short term time frame. Short term time frame, we're actually uh, we're actually looking really good. We're consolidating within a symmetrical triangle, actually, if you look at the two hour chart. Symmetrical triangles are called continuation patterns, believe it or not. So a symmetrical triangle, you can see right here from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom, we're consolidating within it. And what you, what you can think of this as is like a spring. When a spring gets coiled up, you have all this pent up energy, right? So you're coiling up, you're coiling up, you're getting squeezed in between the support and resistance area. And then when you break out either to the upside or downside, all that energy gets released and you see a very, very large move in that direction. And I think that direction is going to be up because we're testing this right now on the two hour chart and the MACD is about ready to flip bullish. Look, we have a nice... Our, we have a nice lighter bearish candle right here. So it's not engulfing, which is showing bearish weaknesses and bullish strength. And then we have the RSI looking pretty stagnant here, consolidating sideways in the overbought territory. On top of that as well, man, we've just been printing sell signal after sell signal after sell signal on the, on the two hour chart and continue to move sideways. That's why I don't take weight on the WTX in the short term time frame. It's more accurate on the long term. So what I'm going to be looking for here is a possible another breakout. If we see a breakout out of the symmetrical triangle, we're heading up to around a dollar. That dollar should be a pretty heavy resistance area because it's a psychological resistance area. You'd be losing a zero. You're going from two digits to one whole digit, a dollar. So, um, so long behold, uh, a lot of coins, when they go from cents to dollars, that dollar range is just a very, very heavy resistance area to contend with. So I think this is the move right now. I think PNG is going to be heading up to a dollar. And then once we get up to a dollar, we'll reassess the situation. So from where we're currently at, a dollar is currently another 58% move. So PNG, in my personal opinion, is not done yet. We still have at least another 58% move in the tank. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if you have any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can contact me on any of my social media links or send me a super chat in the comments and I'll get to your coin within 24 hours. Thank you.